one of the beauties of the Chevin is that it's got really good paths so despite the downpours we've had for the past four weeks almost daily uh, the paths are, are not muddy which is great loads of routes intersecting uh, the Chevin um, so you can find your own way if you did the circumference which I'll show on the map I think it's nearly a three mile walk um, and it's all comparatively flat so uh, it's suitable for anybody of any fitness really it doesn't take long as you walk away from the car park that the, the sound of the traffic fades away and you're left with the sounds of nature mind you this being being february there isn't much bird song around got to wait a little bit longer for that all over the chevron there's little views that open up in front of you You get tremendous views over the Wharf Valley down onto Otley. Good girl. There are two parts of the Chevin, east and west, which are bifurcated by a very busy road. Um, the west side uh, takes you right to the top, which has got a, a great viewing point and there's a pub there next to the car park as well. The east side um, has plenty of free parking. Uh, there are what, two main car parks um, with bins for dog owners. Um, and at the, the far end, there's plenty of parking by the road, but not a designated car park. So this is a Chevin looking at its, its absolute worst uh, in the middle of winter. No signs of life at all. All very drab, waiting for spring. And over there in the distance, unless I'm very much mistaken, there's a bit of sunshine. Well, I never. It's very popular with dog walkers. Good girl.